Welcome to the Minnesota Health IT Workforce Training Program Orientation. We will start by telling you a little about Normandale Community College and the Department of Continuing Education and Customized Training, then go over the MinHIT program, introduce you to our team, and then talk about your next steps. Normandale Community College is the third largest of the 32 Minnesota State Colleges and Universities, or MinSCU system. We educate 15,000 credit or degree-seeking students and 7,000 non-credit or workforce students every year. The Minnesota Health IT, or MinHIT program, is the only provider of non-credit professional level HIT training in the region. It was started under ARA as part of the High Tech Act and funded through the Office of the National Coordinator for Health IT, or ONC, from 2010 through 2013. Since then, we've continued to run the program on our own through the Continuing Education Division of Normandale Community College. We bring in instructors who are working in the field and continuously maintain our industry connections to be sure the content we're updating and developing is relevant to what the students will see in the real world. Our philosophy is to help people across an organization gain an understanding of HIT. We found that it's essential for departments across an organization to have an understanding of HIT and how each area is connected to others both in and outside of the organization. By creating this overall competency, we can help organizations meet their overall goals and objectives and comply with the increasing federal mandates. Now we'll introduce you to the team you'll be working with through the program. Patty Hansen is our lead MinHIT instructor. She has over 20 years of IT industry experience and spent many of those years at Unisys Corporation as a systems analyst. She has extensive experience doing performance analysis of technology systems and configurations and has been most recently working with small nonprofit clinics with their electronic health records implementations and optimizations after completing the MinHIT training herself in 2011. I am Tracy Mastell, the Program Director for MinHIT here at Normandale in the Continuing Education Department. I have a background in financial and data analysis, program management, organizational development and leadership, and training. My professional passion is to help students succeed in their education and career goals. My education is in business and organizational leadership, and I enjoy spending time with my family, reading and doing a little photography when I have time. Sunny Ainley is our Associate Dean. She develops and manages many training and educational programs through the Continuing Education and Customized Training Department. She is well known in the HIT community as being an advocate for workforce development and serves on many advisory boards throughout the state and nation. She is passionate about education and has a special interest in workforce development and economic health as she develops programs to enrich individual and community well-being. She also enjoys her wine very much and has taken up snowboarding with her daughter. The next few slides tell you a little about our students and we hope this gives you the opportunity to see how you fit into this program. Since our inception, we have trained over 500 people, mostly mid-career professionals who have some experience under their belt. Many of them already had a degree of some kind and were adding this training to their portfolio of skills. There were also quite a few who already had healthcare or IT experience. This isn't meant to steer anyone away who might not have this experience because there are many industries which give people fantastic, transferable skills to HIT. But we have also found that people with just IT or just healthcare are very successful in this field. Since actual titles vary so much across organizations, we've taken a sampling here of the most common words we see in the titles of our graduates so you can see what key words to use if you're researching the job market. As part of our MinHIT community, you'll benefit from many of the learning enrichment opportunities we've built out for our students. You can see here that the majority of this program is online and may hold occasional in-person events, which would be optional, although very beneficial for students. The technical requirements are not very extensive. We recommend reliable, high-speed internet so you can watch the recordings and lectures without trouble. There is a test on the D2L login screen, which will check your system for compatibility. If technology is an issue, you do have access to the technology on the Normandale campus. You just use the same credentials you use for D2L to log into any of the campus computer labs or Wi-Fi. 
Also, students are eligible to receive Office 365 free of charge. You'll see a link in D2L with more information on this opportunity. In general, the program is self-paced with milestones to keep you on track to finish within the allotted time. The program is competency-based, which means there are quizzes for each unit and final exams for each section, which are set up as pass-fail with 70% being passing. You can take each quiz an unlimited number of times and each final up to three times. As you move through the content, you may notice that as you complete a final exam, another section may open. In some cases, this is meant to help you move through the content in a logical way, so you are not trying to learn more advanced concepts before you have the basics mastered. Your instructor and myself are here to help you succeed. If you are struggling, please let us know so we can help you find the tools or techniques to be successful. Career High Track is a program specifically for MinHIT students who are looking to expand their career. It is designed to provide useful advice, tools, and resources to help launch a successful and meaningful HIT career. This is a separate class in D2L, which is available each semester. Feel free to visit the page, review the fantastic presentations, and go through the workbook to learn the tools that will help you apply your training to your career. Success Day is held each spring, and invitations will go out for that as arrangements are finalized. It's open to all MinHIT students and will give you an opportunity like no other program with inspirational speakers, useful breakout sessions, informational or mock interviews with our HIT industry partners, and resume reviews. We also send out quarterly newsletters and emails with information on industry and program updates, practicum opportunities as they're available, and upcoming events. By the time you're done with this program, you'll hopefully be looking for opportunities to apply this new knowledge to your career. One of the tools we want to offer you is some industry insight to help you be successful. The people who are the most in demand in health IT are people who fall into the following categories. The first is specialists of some kind. These areas are hot topics right now and there aren't a lot of people with the skills and knowledge to fill these gaps for organizations. If you build out your knowledge in these areas, you can make yourself very attractive to employers in areas where they are lacking expertise. In general, organizations want people who are thinkers. People who can connect all the dots to understand how disparate systems work together and how people use those systems. People who can translate between IT and non-IT departments. People who don't just identify problems, but come up with solutions to problems, and people who are thirsty for knowledge and are always learning. Finally, organizations are looking for people who are flexible, especially if someone is new to the field. They might have to take a job that's not their ideal job, but it will give them an opportunity to gain experience and build out their skills even more. People who are willing to travel and jobs you wouldn't typically think of as HIT jobs, like working with smaller organizations or in public health. Generally, you should be tech savvy and have good people skills to be able to successfully navigate a wide variety of personalities. Opportunities for HIT lie in a lot of areas outside of the typical healthcare organizations people think of. Specifically, in Minnesota, we have a lot of software vendors who need developers, trainers, help desk, and salespeople. Staffing agencies and consultancy firms are great opportunities to get your foot in the door, start meeting people, and prove yourself with a company before the commitment of full-time permanent employment. Also, smaller organizations, such as many long-term care facilities, specialty care or community clinics, often need help but can't afford a full-time staff position. Volunteering with these organizations can give you valuable experience and opportunities to network with people in the industry. Then, of course, there are internal transitions. Sometimes people in one role can add HIT responsibilities to their job in small pieces and end up slowly transitioning into a new role, which may or may not currently exist. There really are endless opportunities if someone is willing to put the work into finding or making them for themselves. Most importantly, don't let your new knowledge get stale. Understand what these organizations are and stay informed about what is happening in the HIT industry. 
the HIT industry is growing at an astounding rate. The next phase of workforce needs will focus on continuous improvement and optimization of the systems organizations have invested so much into these past few years. There are constant changes that need to be kept up on and new opportunities around every corner if you look for them. Our next step is to look at the learning management system you'll be using in the training. The learning management system you'll be using in this training is Desire to Learn, or D2L, which recently branded its learning management system to be called Brightspace by D2L. To find the online classes that you're enrolled in, you'll go to the normandale.edu website, and at the top of the page you'll see two gray boxes next to a red box, and you'll click on the middle one called D2L. This will bring you to the Online Education, or D2L, login page. On this page, you'll see the system check at the bottom of the screen. And when you click that, it will test your computer to make sure that it's compatible with the D2L system. After you've done your check, you can enter your star ID and password in the fields and press login. When you get logged into D2L, you'll see this screen come up as your home screen. On the right side, you'll see a list of courses, which are the courses you are currently enrolled in. So if you see a header that doesn't have any classes under it, what you might need to do is click the arrow next to the header to drop down the menu of classes. Once you see your class, just click on the class name to get into the home screen for that class. Another way to find your class is from the top navigation bar. Next to My Home, if you click Select a Course, it drops down a menu of all the classes you're enrolled in, and you just select from the menu. Once you're in your course, from the home screen you can see any news items that your instructor posted for you. To start working in the course, you'll see the content browser here on the right, and it will have a folder with all of the course materials in it. You can also find the materials through the menu at the top of the screen, the materials menu, and choosing content. As you work through the material, you'll see screens open that you'll just read the information, click on all of the links on the page so you're sure to gather all of the information that's required, and then you can click the arrows at the top to go to the next topic. One thing that's important to note in D2L and in general on the Normandale website, much of the communication you'll see is directed toward our credit or degree seeking students. Much of that you can ignore, but if you have any questions about anything, please don't hesitate to contact me. Welcome to the MinHIT program and congratulations on taking this step in your educational journey.